Okay, so financial morning routine today, not a whole lot. I had nothing going on or happening with my debit card or checking account spending, but I did, if you look over here at my cash spending, we did a Costco run. So with Costco, places like Costco or Target or even like Fred Meyer, it's really easy to purchase multiple budget categories on one transaction or one receipt. Now, of course, you can do separate transactions. It's how I actually prefer it. I like to separate them out and do a separate receipt from each budget category that I'm spending from. But Costco, it's a little bit different. So I actually end up breaking out my receipt when I get home. So we did 147 to food, 86 to baby, 32 to health and beauty. After breaking that down, I use my Costco sinking funds as a savings inflow into my life to pay for that purchase of 265. So you can see these offset each other. This is what it looks like when you use a sinking fund savings that you saved in a previous month in the current month. It's a deposit. Now you may be asking why I don't track the ending balance of my cash. It's because I do that on my cash envelope inside of my actual wallet. So that's why I just put a line through the actual balance. So that's one thing. If you saw my reel yesterday on my Instagram, then you know I finished my September budget calendar. Now this is the very, very first step that I complete before creating my budget. So this should be something you're doing before you actually write down any numbers on your budget. The reason being is the calendar becomes your spending roadmap. It's your reminder that your budget is not just for paying the bills. It's for other things. This is where I think people really miss adding things to their budget where later on they say, oh my gosh, so many things are popping up in my life. It's derailing my budget. Well, our lives are more predictable than you might think. So this helps me get real life back into my budget. So I'm not constantly saying, oh my gosh, like where did that expect? I didn't plan for that. So a lot happening. Um, we have our wedding anniversary on the 10th. This is our two year wedding anniversary. We have a lot of events happening. So our wedding anniversary, I saved $100 um, into a wedding anniversary sinking fund. I've been saving since January for that. So that's covered. I have a Disport sinking fund um, that I use for this. That's going to appointment's going to happen on the 16th that I'm prepared for. Then we have a lot of things happening on Saturdays. We have a friend's baby shower. And then the next Saturday we have friend's wedding. And then on the 28th, we are hosting our first potluck bingo night. Now, the baby shower and the wedding present have already been paid for. The potluck bingo night, I figured I would add $50 to my fun and entertainment budget category for that. So when I create my budget, you can see my budget isn't created yet, um, but I will add the extra 50. This is why I wrote 50 in parentheses. So it's looking ahead. So this is creating a plan for your money before you ever receive it, before you even create your budget planning ahead, looking ahead and saying, okay, how am I going to figure this out? How am I going to plan to make sure I'm prepared for everything that's happening in the upcoming month? So my plan was just looking at what I have going on and how I'm going to pay for those things, which I just walked you through. Now on my budget calendar, I like to have kind of like a key. Different highlighter colors represent different things. I have my bills and greens, in green, my events in this like pink color, holidays in yellow and appointments in red. Now, of course, I like to add travel, which you're going to be seeing a lot going into October. Um, in fact, September is my last quiet, what I consider my quiet month before all of my traveling starts in October. We have Arizona in October, Cabo in November, Switzerland in December, and then we decided we're going to do Hawaii as a family in April. And I started planning for that Hawaii trip. Good gracious, it's expensive. Just I think the housing alone, I'm looking at five or six grand. So still working out the details on that. But the Arizona, Cabo, and Switzerland are done and planned. So I'll be going into that as we go into October in the future months in my BBP workbook. That is my financial morning routine.